Hey there, it's time for the golden age of DC Comics, 365 days, where I am going to do a page a day from this awesome uh, gift I got. It's uh, one of these coffee table books, and it's, uh, yeah, it's basically a page a day, and it gives you this great picture of either cover or interior art, or even maybe even some advertisements from Golden Age comic books. The Golden Age of comic books ran between 1935 and 1955. The Silver Age began in 1956. What goes better with coffee table books? Delicious hot coffee. So today, it's January 8th. So let's see woo, who we got today. This is an old friend. Everyone, uh, we're all familiar with this dude. It's Arthur Curry. Yes. And he is the king of Atlantis, isn't he? And uh, so, yeah, this is Aquaman from DC Comics. The, this is the Golden Age Aquaman. And he'll basically remain um, unchanged in the Silver Age. That's the, the coloring was changed on his gloves, pretty much. But, yeah, Aquaman, you know, pretty much remained... Uh, it didn't get the makeover, such as with uh, with Hawkman, Flash, Green Lantern, the Atom. You know those guys got uh, all got like a serious makeover for the for the '60s. And um, <clears throat> well, this is from More Fun Comics number 97, May June of 1944. The uh, first appearance of Aquaman, though, was I believe. And is in 1941 in More Fun Comics number 73 of November of 1941. Namor from Timely Comics, which became um, Marvel Comics later on. Timely Comics um, premiered Namor, the Submariner, uh, in April of 1939. So yeah, so it appears that Namor... Uh, beats Arthur to the uh, to the seat of Atlantis, does he not? So, January 8th, penguins were not ordinarily counted among Aquaman's particular pets. After all, they ate fish, don't they? Yet there is something appealing about these upright birds with their formal attire. DC made up f for featuring a Batman villain named the Penguin by introducing an entire army of heroic penguins in this Aquaman adventure. A misanthropic man deliberately maroons himself among the feathered folk in this story, Penguin Island. But he finds he needs their help. And Aquaman's as well to escape his past. Dun dun dun! Penguin Island was also the title of a 1908 satirical novel by Nobel Prize winning author Anatoly France. Now that's your daily dose of uh, of trivia today, huh? But yep, there's Aquaman hanging out with a bunch of penguins. Yeah. Uh-huh. It's like March of the Penguins. I can hear this being narrated by uh, Morgan Freeman. My Morgan Freeman voice. Just a speck in the vast empty spaces of a restless southern sea with only the penguins people at solitude that's a pretty poor you know morgan freeman but i love morgan freeman but yeah and i love it that it's january 8th and i love it that we are going to talk about comic books every day for the rest of the year yeah it's aquaman you know him you've seen him in the the jason momoa aquaman i remember growing up with um there was a, a filmation aquaman cartoon with Tusky, his uh, the the, uh, the 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 seal, and then he he rode a seahorn. I, I, I mean a seahorse. There was Aqualad, and um, was that Aqualass as well? Um, and I don't think Mero was there for that. I, I don't remember. These were like late '60s cartoons and reruns that I grew up with in the '70s. They were very hit and miss when when you would find the Aquaman cartoon. It was like really fun, but. 
that's it. So that's uh, the golden age of DC comic books today. Give me a thumbs up if you like this kind of content. Give me a thumbs down if you didn't. I'm a big lad. I can handle it. Leave a comment in the comment section. Let's continue this conversation about comic books. And one day I would love to earn your subscription. I want to be part of your daily YouTube experience where I literally talk about comic books every day and will so for the rest of the year. What are you doing tomorrow at 3 o'clock Eastern? Tune in and find out who we're talking about this year in comic books. We're talking about the golden age of DC comic books. The golden age runs from about 1935 to 1955. The silver age began in 1956. So we're going deep into the first age of magazines, publications, of the newsstands, of kid stuff. All right. Well, thank you so very much for tuning in. Uh, have a great day. God bless. Good luck and namaste.